today I'm super excited to talk to you about a plugin that does scheduling and appointments. This plugin has a ton of features and I can't wait to show them. This plugin is called MotoPress. Installing it is very, very easy. All you have to do is to come over here to plugins and search for MotoPress. Now I've already gone ahead and installed it. So installing it is very, very easy. So when you first install the plugin, you get an entry here called appointments. And then when you click on it, you get this calendar. Now this is the calendar that pretty much shows you a bird's eye view of what is happening. So this has your confirmed, your pending, and you can also come over here to the top and add canceled. So you are now able to see pretty much everything on this calendar. Now, when you first install this, it looks very overwhelming because there's so much going on here. Now, I wanna show you quickly how you can set this up and get it up and running super fast. So the first thing you wanna do is to create an employee. So you wanna come over here to employees. Next, you wanna give uh, the employee a name. Now here, I only went and added Mac, but let's add another one so you can see how easy this is to do. All right, so let's give this a name. So let's call this guy, Steven, for example, here we can add the email address. So I'm gonna add my email address here and then I'm gonna add my phone number. Now, when it comes to the phone number here, you can add a United Kingdom or you can go through this whole list and choose based on whatever country you are in. So this is actually quite cool. So let me add here plus four, four. If I need to add another one, I can click on add new. And here I can add my labels, the content, the URL, and if I need to, the CSS classes. But we're not gonna do that right now. This is gonna be a quick setup. Next, we also have a social network. So if I click here, I can label the social network, add the URL and so on. But again, we're not gonna to waste too much time on that. If I need to add any extra information, I can add it over here. So now that I've set up this, all I have to do is to come over here and click on publish. Now I can just go back over here and now I have Stephen and Mac. So these are my employees. The next thing you want to set up is the service. What type of service do you want to offer? So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm gonna come over here to my services. So here I had added one-to-one -one coaching. So let's add another one here. So this one here is going to be web design. So the price, so we can either leave it as that, as zero. That means that no one is paying for that. But the price here is very important. So let's say it's $2.99. The duration here is going to be one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, the buffer before I can, uh, now this is the time uh, that you, is needed, you know, to get prepared. So let's say 30 minutes. How about that? And the time after, I'm also going to give this 30 minutes. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because let's say I book someone in, uh, you don't want to get someone else straight away after you've uh, finished your first um, consultation or whatever it is, uh, service that you're providing. You want to give this a buffer time. So this is why I've added this uh, 30 minutes after. All right, so time before booking. I mean, you can add all this here if you want to. And then we also have the color here. So let's say I choose this color. Now, the reason I'm choosing this is because on the calendar, this is going to show with different colors, which is very easy to identify. Okay, so maximum capacity here. You can add how many people you want to add per session and so on. Okay, so eligible employees. Now, you notice that we have Mac and Stephen. Now, if we hadn't created these employees, it was going to be quite difficult for us to go in and know, select them. So this is why we started off with the employee. All right. So let's say this goes to Steven. Moving on, deposit settings. So let's say you want to add a deposit. You can ask for maybe 50% upfront and so on. But again, we're going to leave this as disabled. I'm not going to add any services here. So pretty much I think I'm good with this web design. And I'm going to click on publish. You notice that the UI here looks very, very basic. They don't have a lot of uh, bells and whistles, but this approach here, I think is very good because it just makes the whole plugin very light because if you add too much graphics and too much stuff going on and Ajax everywhere, it is going to take a toll on the speed of your website. So the simplicity here, I think is a very positive thing. So now that I have this, I am going to, I can now go back. So now you may be asking, okay, so what else can we do? We have our services here. We can come over here to categories. I can actually group all my services based on category. So let's call this web, for example. And my slug here can be web, add new service category. So now I have this category. So what I can do now, now if I come back here to my services, I can go in and group these in whatever categories that I want to group them. So let's say, for example, I want web design or anything that's related to web design to go into the category that I've just created. All I have to do is to come over here to the right panel and I can choose categories. And now you can see web is now showing. I can choose that 
And now, just like that, I've now added my web design training to the web category. So if I have anything related, I can always add it to that category. The next part now is to set our locations. So I'm gonna come over here to locations. So here I've got London, I'm gonna add another one. This one here is going to be Birmingham. I wanna click on publish. Now, the reason why this is very important is because when it comes now to selecting my location, when uh, a user is booking, they are able now to choose the location based on these entries that I've added over here. Remember, we created our employee. Now the employee has to have a schedule. How do we know when it's going to be available, when it's not going to be available and so on. So this is our next part. So I'm gonna come over here to schedules. Now I've already done a schedule for Mac, but uh, let's do one for Steven so you can see how easy it is to set up. Let's call this Steven's schedule. Employee, I'm gonna click here choose Stephen, main location. Uh, let's say Stephen is based in Birmingham. So I'm gonna select Birmingham. And now it's time to add my timetable. So this is where you can go in and add our days off. So let's click on add. So I can choose when I'm off. So Saturday, Sunday here on March, and then same thing in April as well. I can keep on adding more dates. Over here, the timetable, I can click on add. So it's saying days of the week, so or day of the week. So this one here is for Monday. I can add my time that I'm available. So let's say it's going to be, let's say 5 p.m. till about say 8 p.m. Activity type, working hours, that's fine. And location, let's say this is Birmingham. Click on add. I can do the same thing for let's say uh, Tuesday and so on. So this now gives the availability of my time pretty much across the whole week. And I can be very, very specific. And I really like this feature here because it just makes things very, very easy. So you can see here, custom days, you know, working days. I can add my custom working days here if I need to. Uh, days off, I've already added that. So it is very, very easy to set up. Next, all I have to do is to click on publish. Now, it looks like a lot of work initially, but for this system to function properly and the appointments to work, you need to put in the work first. And this is very, very important. So I've done the schedules. We've done the services. So let's say this is a paid course or a paid uh, uh, sessions or meetings. You can come over here to coupons and you can go in and add one. Now, adding one is very, very easy. You just click on add new. So I'm going to call this summer 50 and I'm just going to call this summer sale. But of course, you can enter uh, whatever information you want over here. Next type, I'm going to set it as a percentage. Let's set this at 50%. Now, the fix is also okay, but I prefer a percentage in this uh, instance expiration date. Now, this is very important. Maybe you want this to expire maybe on April the 30th. There we go. Services, we've got one-to-one -one coaching, we've got web design, but if I need to uh, select that, I can just select it like that, or I can choose that, or you can hold on the shift key and select both. Next, we have the dates here. I can add my date, usage limit, so I can limit this to, let's say, 20 people, 30 people, 50 people. It just depends how you wanna set it up. All right, so now that I have this, I can just publish it. I'm sure right now you're pretty much waiting to see how this is going to work on our website. And this is where you can come over here now to shortcode since we've entered all the information that we need. So the shortcode here is actually very interesting. Now check this out. If I come over here and click on this drop down. We have appointment form, we have employee list, we have locations list, we have pretty much all these short codes, but creating them is really cool. If I come over here to appointment form, so let's call this web design, or we can call this whatever we want. Okay, so again, the form title is going to be web design. Show items. Now, do you see that we have quite a few things that we can show or hide from the field? I really like this. So we have our service category, a location, employee, and so on. I'm gonna leave this as, as it is. Next, we're gonna come over here now to our service category. So this here is web design. And our service here is uh, web design as well. All right, so next we have our labels here, but we can also go to our default values. So we can, we can select our service category here. Here we go, we've got a web. Our service here is web design. Now we have our form width. We can select our width here and we can also uh, add our primary text color here if you wanted to. Just click in here and then choose your color like that. 
uh, primary background color. Again, you can go in, you know, choose your primary background color. But ideally, this would work really nice if you had, let's say, color palette. So you can come in here and add it to match the rest of your website. For those of you who are developers, you can add your uh, HTML anchor and CSS classes and so on. All right, so let's say I'm okay with that. Pretty much I'm good. Now it's time to publish this so I can now use my shortcode on my actual website. My shortcode is right here. I can just copy it. Or what I could do is I can come back over here to my shortcodes and here it is. So I have the web design which I've just created. I can just copy it like that. Now here's the cool thing. I can pretty much go on any page on my website. It doesn't matter what page builder I'm using. I can just go in and create a page. So let's say, right, I have the Divi builder here. So I can literally go into my builder and use this to create my booking page. But if you're someone who uses Elementor, that's fine. If you use Gutenberg, it's fine too. Pretty much this works with any page builder out there. So let's build this from scratch, single column. And I'm just gonna add my text module like that. And then all I have to do is to go in and paste my shortcode. I'm gonna save that. So there we go. Uh, all I have to do now is to save the page. So I could actually go in and do extra things here. I could add an extra section, add all my graphics and make the page look nicer. So let me just give you a quick example here. So we have uh, an appointment page here. So you can see here, the graphics looks really, really cool. If I click on book today, you notice that we have our booking uh, space here. So we can go select our category. We can go in and uh, choose our service. Now you realize that these are the sort of things that we were adding initially, our location here and also employee, okay? So pretty much it's similar to what we have here. So let's save the page and exit the visual builder. So now I can go in, click on this drop down, choose web design. I can choose Birmingham here. I can choose employee and then I can click on next. Now this now is going to take me to the next step where I can choose my dates. Remember, I blocked out quite a lot of dates. So now it's only showing me the ones where I am available. So let's say it's the 26th. The time here is um, okay. Click on next. Now we take a look at the price. Now you can see everything is really built in. It's just the next, next, next until I finish the whole process. So I can go in and edit this if I need to, but I'm just gonna continue on and say next. And now it's time for me to add my name, my email address, my phone number. If I have any booking notes, I can add them over here. And if I need to create an account, I can just select it here. Coupon code. Now remember, I created a coupon code called summer50. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna hit apply. And there we go. You can see it's 50% off and this is working. And then finally, I can go in and reserve this. So you've noticed that the whole process was created using specific steps and it's very, very easy to set up. Now, this is a free plugin, by the way. Now, here's the thing. If you wanted to do extra features like take on payments, this is where you need the pro version. In fact, let's take a look here and see what the pro versions can, uh, the pro version can do for us. So here you can see you can book uh, bookings in synchronization with the Google Calendar. That's a pro version feature. Adding bookings manually. Again, that's a... Um, pro version feature and also uh, taking your payments online uh, or on your website is a pro feature. So these are the sort of things that you need to uh, decide if you're going to need uh, in terms of making your website work. Now, I've already gone ahead and purchased the pro version. So let's take a look and see what the process of installing it looks like. So once you've purchased it, you get a receipt and also your license key. So I've already gone, gone ahead and downloaded it. So let's go ahead and install it. So back over here on my site, I'm going to now go to my plugins. This time, I'm going to click on add new and upload it because this is a premium version. Click on upload, choose file, and here it is, install now. And all I have to do now is to activate it. Come over here to settings. We're gonna come all the way to the last tab. And this is where we're going to paste our license key. So as you can see, installing the pro version is very, very easy, but they also have an option here. If you want to try this, you can go to a link, which I'll provide in the video description below, and you can have a look at the demo and try this for seven days. So they have quite a few um, examples here. Now, this is the one I was looking at uh, the first time, and we have quite a lot here. You can see here, this is your health and wellness. This is yoga, a career coach demo. You know, there's quite a lot, you know, you can choose from. And you can see here, the form is pretty much the same in terms of the format. So in fact, let's 
do a quick um, demo here. So here you can see where it says, let's start. We have your category here. You can choose your category. I've shown you how to set this up. So this is pretty cool. I can click on next and then you can choose all our dates and so on. So as you can see, what they've done here is they've gone ahead and designed around the functionality of the plugin, which is really cool. Now, there's a few things I also want to take a look at here and that is the analytics. So once all the bookings are coming in and so much action is happening on your website, we have a very nice looking dashboard here. You can see here we have our analytics. So we can literally go in and drill down and focus on what you want to see. So for example, let's say you want to go for web design. Okay, now this is going to switch over and show you the web design related stuff or the web design related bookings. I can choose today, I can go to yesterday. So this gives me pretty much all the information that I want to see on my analytics over here, which is really, really good. Next, let's take a look at our settings page. Now, this settings page is very, very important because this is where you need to go in and do a few customizations. Now, I would highly recommend you have a terms and conditions page. So you need to have created this beforehand and then you want to come over here and link it up. So let's say mine is the sample page. I can just go in and do that. Okay, you can allow multi-booking if you want. You can allow coupons, which by the way, we've already done an example of that. You can also add a booking cancellation here. Okay, this will have a link. Now here, we also have a booking cancellation page. So this page, it needs to be created way beforehand. In fact, all these pages here need to be created well beforehand. And then you can just go ahead and select it, okay? Next, let's take a look here at our emails. What emails do our customers get when they sign up and when they get confirmation emails? So this is where it is. So this is a new booking and this is confirmed automatically. And if we click here on manage, now this gives us the template. So we can go in here, adjust this, change this to whatever we want to change it to. So, but this initially gives us a template that we can work with. Now it also has some tags. So you can go in and add your tags here just to make the whole thing look really, really cool. Okay. Next, we also have our notifications here. So this now is your from email. Now from name, this is where you wanna add your name. So I'm just gonna add Mac over here. And then your SMS sender, if you use um, text messages, this needs to be set up uh, by installing an extension, but we're not gonna do that right now. Next, we need, we're going to go to the payments. Now remember, the payments only works if you have the pro version, okay? But if you have the free version, people can pay on site, which is also very, very functional and very, very good. No, so if you're a brick and mortar business, this is very straightforward. Someone can just book on the website and then pay when they get there. So for that, you don't even need to get the pro version. So here we have Stripe. We can set up your Stripe here. You can set up PayPal. This is where you can uh, add your Google Calendar sync, which makes it easier for you to see everything on your Google Calendar. And then here we also have a miscellaneous. So this is where you can go in and customize, you know, your form width. Now you notice that mine was 50%. So you can set it here to 100% and then add your primary colors and so on. And then finally, we have the license tab. So overall, when we take a look at uh, MotoPress, this plugin is fantastic. It's very lightweight, but it's full of features. I like the simplicity uh, where you don't get all these crazy graphics around it, which makes it uh, sometimes quite confusing. Everything looks like it's native WordPress. So that makes it very, very easy to use. Secondly, I like the fact that the free version has a ton of features and they don't have so many ads everywhere. It's a usable plugin. Now, there are some plugins out there that have so many upgrades everywhere which really makes the whole thing unfunctional. It doesn't look very uh, cool, but with MotoPress, the free version, it is fantastic and you can actually use it. And I think they have done a fantastic job there. So of course, for the upgrades, you can you know upgrade it and use this if you want to take payments. And also they have extensions. So let's say you want to uh, use this in countries where you don't have PayPal and um, Stripe you can also install a WooCommerce extension, which allows us to take on even more payments. So as you can see, it reaches a wider audience. So overall, I think it's a fantastic uh, product. I highly, highly uh, recommend it. And I will leave a link to that in the video description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.